How many of you are not telling us that you broke the law today? Yeah, okay, good. That's great. Wonderful. Yeah, we all do it. And here's a lady to talk about this and the consequences of it. Can I welcome Manana Satyani? And she's here to talk about the impact of law. Georgia is a very old country and uh, till today has preserved its traditions. One of the oldest traditions in our country is the tradition of the Georgian table or the Supra. The Supra or Georgian so usually celebrate their New Year or some other special days and they usually drink a bit and for a child to be given a glass of wine to celebrate this day it's considered normal in our country but this is actually uh, how parents are somehow breaking the law. The law states in our country that uh, children uh, must be protected from the harmful influences of alcoholic beverages, of tobacco, and of beer. And uh, this law, uh, Article uh, 4 of this law, states that first of all, alcohol must not be sold to these children. The second point tells us that the children must not be involved in the realization of this alcohol with beverages and all other harmful substances. And the third point says that these kind of, the shops that which sell these kind of substances must not be located near the territories of the educational facilities. But actually, if we look in our country, um, the all points of this law are broken, and uh, you may not actually notice this, but it is really done. And uh, to prove my uh, points, I have um, made a bit of research. First of all, I have conducted a poll in Facebook, and as you know, well, Facebook is a very effective means of just asking people some questions. And more than 200 people have participated in my poll, and uh, the question was, have you ever bought alcoholic beverage, be beverage before you were 18? And actually, more than 90% of the people have answered positively. And so this means that there is definitely a problem. Uh, other than that, well, we can definitely see that even the teenagers are concerned about this problem because alcohol is uh, very harmful for our bodies since, well, until uh, we are of age, our bodies are not even developed and they can't actually handle these harmful substances. And uh, well, one of my friends works at Internews Georgia and they have conducted this uh, interviews with people and as you can, you can see them now. As you can see here, a typical teenager is being questioned on the street, and the question is, have you ever drank alcohol? And she's replying, yes, that I have. This, this is already a problem. Further ahead, the interviewer is asking the interviewees uh, if you ever had a problem buying this alcohol in the streets and especially in the shops, and they again stated that no, they've never had such a problem. Uh, despite the fact that some of the most famous shops in Georgia uh, have it in their policies that they do not sell alcohol to underage people, and so do other bars and restaurants, but this problem is very big. Uh, if you support my opinion, I have uh, recorded a video with the help of my friends, and we have went to one of the famous shops in Georgia, which has a lot of branches and it has to abide by the law if it was a good shop. But it still sold alcohol and cigarettes to my friend. And thus we can see that even the most famous shops are breaking the laws. Yes, as you can see my friend is going to the shop and this is what she returned with. And as you can clearly see, they sold her this without any problems. And yeah, I'm not showing the shop on purpose, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, other than that, well, uh, how can we regulate this problem is a major issue today. Even if there exists such a law, it's not punishable severely. And I think personally that we should implement some new rules for this. For example, that it, is, it, it should be mandatory to show your identification card before you're actually buying the alcohol or the tobacco in a shop. And this is uh, well, the, what has been done in many countries of Europe and it's been effective actually. And so. Um, uh, uh, the shop should also have some special permissions to sell these uh, substances because in Georgia this is not regulated at all. Even if you go uh, like past any school in Georgia, you can clearly see that there is a, is a shop within like I don't know 20 meters of the school within the radius of 20 meters, and this shop sells cigarettes, alcohol, and other harmful substances. And so the law again is being broken. Of course, this is not only caused by just 
teenagers. This is also part of Georgian mentality, and the, the fact that older generations some, somehow, uh, sometimes they um, don't realize that this problem actually exists, and they don't regulate it properly. And I think that this law should be spread everywhere. Everybody should be informed, and even the parents should be informed that the children. Uh, even if you ask them to go and buy you a pack of cigarettes in a shop, that you're making your child break the law. But I think that in this case, the biggest lawbreaker is still the seller and the clerk who is selling, actually, these harmful substances in the shops, and that they should be the ones who are the most, who are the punished the most severely. And um, I think that to solve this problem, everybody should, I don't know, stand together, tell the government, and the government should so somehow regulate this because if we don't, well, the teenage and uh, the, the teenagers are hard, and if the teenagers are hard, what will they do when they grow up? I mean, alcohol causes a lot of damage. Isolation from community or some other diseases of liver, it causes loss of eyesight and everything harmful to us. And so uh, I think that you should all think again before letting your child go to the shop or just if you're a child and if you're underage, again, you should rethink your decision about buying this alcohol or tobacco and trying it out and, yeah, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.